has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big boy in the Big morning. Boy. All right, you want to gather yeah. around your radios. I told this man this morning, I said, can you just try to keep it real with us? Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Please, man. We the got Kenny the it. Jet Smith yeah. up in here. <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, good to see you. It's, good, it's good to see you. Yeah. Let me tell you, man, when you guys sit down, you guys a lot of times are more exciting than the actual basketball mm-hmm. games. Real, bro. You know what's funny? <laughs> it, it, when I hear that, you know, sometimes they, they tell us, oh, the ratings were better for your show than the game. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> so, wow. Like, so somebody rather listen to someone talk about a concert than actually go to a concert. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and you sense. give it to his <laughs> bite side. But you know what, what's the truth about it also, Kenny, man, is that inside the NBA on TNT, you guys keep it extremely real, though. And oh, yeah. y'all keep it so real. It's like y'all say stuff thinking that y'all not going to run into the person ever again. No, but the funny thing is, like, you could be right. You could fit right in. Y'all, right. this is what we do. This is, We're like talk radio on on, uh, on TV. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. you know, and y'all we, do a whole lot like better talk than radio. Us too, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, people you know all all over the world, and, you know, y'all, y'all do extremely well. We're good here, though. No, y'all good. We're, we're, y'all we're not complaining good. about yeah, nothing, yeah. Kenny. I've I, I, I seen your cars. You I've seen your houses. Uh, there it is right there. <laughs> i seen it. Now, Sorry. what's going down with, with the NBA season this year? And, and I just yeah, want to cut. I just, boom. No, cut no, to the no chase? foreplay. Well, yeah, I, I see you, you know, with the great picture of the greatest yeah, Mr. The Kobe Bryant is right behind, here. Right behind you, man. I'll show you right. You know, he, he, he's reminding me of, like, Michael with the Wizards right now. Re- oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Jordan with the Wizards. That, mm-hmm. No, bro. A real young like, team, not really going to go anywhere. And is that is it Kobe or are you talking about more of the Lakers? Uh, Just whatever it is. Uh, it's it's a combination. Like, he's that right now. Where if he was, if he had three or four really good vets with him that could contend, and he was just kind of a piece, then mm-hmm. he could probably get 18 to 20 points. Like, who they, would that be if yeah, you were uh, to say if Kobe had? Well, he, he needs to be on, like, let's say the San Antonio Spurs. Right. You know what I mean? Where he, didn't, he doesn't have to do everything, and everything he does, then he doesn't get double teamed. Now you could double team him. You know, he's not going to get his game off as mm-hmm. easily. Uh, too, too difficult for him right Man, now. Man, what do you think is going to happen with the Lakers this season? Well, you know – They'll, if you need some co-host up here, they'll be ready wow. in April. They'll be ready. I mean, it's a young team. Do yeah. we see playoffs? Playoffs. Oh, you're going to see it, but it will be on TV. Oh. <laughs> you're not going to be You're not going to be participating. No, hey, man, I'm going to hold I'm not this saying vi- audio like and news. video. I'm, I'm not saying y'all act like I'm curing cancer up here. No, right. I'm, I'm not truth. saying anything like like anybody's just oh like, whoa. No. You don't think the Lakers are going to make it to the playoffs no. with the great Kobe Bryant? No, no. I mean, Kobe, Kobe. Bryant has done his thing, uh, and his career is set in cement. Right. But the Lakers right now are just a young basketball team Damn. trying to find their way. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Now, there will be playoffs in L.A., but it will be in the Clippers' side. Wow. Oh, yeah. The Clippers Damn. will be in the playoffs. They have an opportunity to possibly – they, they uh, win the West. They have a only, the only problem the Clippers is they have like four new guys mm. that are integral parts and they're young. Okay, Matt, when you first got here, right, 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 it was a little uncomfortable when every you probably sitting there. Everybody's like, okay, what big boy going to do up in here, you know? And that's how it is on the Clippers. Like everybody just don't know what's going to happen, and that's where championships are. You know, it takes a minute to win a championship. Damn. Man, how long before you, if, if, do you think we see a Lakers championship? Wow. Kobe Bryant Jr. will be really? playing. Really? Oh, <laughs> no. Kobe. Damn. Hey, man, I want you to eat your words oh, so bad, bro. Man. Yo, hey, I'm telling you, the Sparks what got a better chance. Know? Come on, man. <laughs> the Sparks got a better chance <laughs> to win a championship before the Lakers, man. Come on, man. Let's keep it right. Don't man, keep it real. We got to <laughs> keep it right. Kenny the Jet Smith. Who do you feel wins it all? Uh, I, li- I really like San Antonio Spurs. Really? Yeah, yeah. With adding LaMarcus Aldridge, they added David yeah. West. Mm-hmm. You know, got a veteran team. Uh, you know, Golden State for real, though. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, Steph man. Curry, oh, my goodness. He's like, good. No, no, right. pass, pass good. Like, he is, he might be the best player in basketball. Hmm. You know, he wow. might, he could look at LeBron in the face and say, why are, Why do you think you're better than me? Wow. Yeah, Damn. He, he, it seemed like he got like a little, like like his basketball got like a drone or some Bluetooth on it or something. Because he goes straight. <laughs> it seemed like this dude already running back down the court. Before, he, yeah. He never throw the ball and then just walk away. No, no, <laughs> nobody in the history of the game has shot that consistently mm-hmm. 
like that. Mm. Like, there's guys that shoot like that, but not every night yeah. like he does. Every night he does it, and it's it's an incredible. And, he's you know, he looks like, you know, your eight-year-old son. Yeah, man. Yeah, he, he looks like Damn. eight-year-old son. He's, like, not bigger than him, and he's doing what he does. Most guys who dominate basketball are Big six body. foot eight, yeah. you know, because they're physically just better than you and bigger than you and stronger and faster. He's like, no, I'm, I'm not really that fast. You know, my handle is just out of control, and yeah. then I shoot the ball out of control. But I'm, you know, I'm six foot two and a half, hundred and seventy pounds. How many Damn. early ons were people when he was talking about the NBA are just the dream? Like, man, you sure? Uh, you know what? The funny thing is, here's a guy. You know how they rank high school players yeah. down and everything. He wasn't ranked in the top hundred players in high school basketball. Damn. Damn. He didn't have Crazy. one scholarship. He only had one and took scholarship that offer, it, 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 and it was late. It was like, uh, we well. think he might be the guy. But no one thought he could play at a high-level major basketball. And, Damn. And, and he's okay. an MVP. Well, that's, you know, that, that just shows there's a lot of people who don't know what they're doing. Who's the best <laughs> man in the NBA right now? Between him and, and LeBron. Damn. They're the best. You know, Damn. those two, every night, you know what you're going to get. And the opponent know what they're going to get. Mm-hmm. And that's the difference. Where, you know, consistency makes greatness. And it doesn't, you know, there's a lot right, of guys right. can be great in the NBA on one mm-hmm. or two nights, but the consistency makes you great. Damn. Yeah. Hey, I got a man. question. How's your little man? Because we He's talked amazing, about the, man. Yeah, yeah, your son, I told you, when he was like four year old guy, I'm telling you. Yeah. I saw his son at like four. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this kid. Yeah, my is, son is like, a beast, is man. Who is this kid? It's in the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? I got to find his father. <laughs> and tell him, man, like, hey, man, so your son dumb. is being amazing right now. Yo, he's that fool I, putting I it between lo- his legs behind his back shooting on a big rim. I'm yeah. like, yo, and he all doing, the other kids are shooting on a little rim. Away, oh. Oh. Really on a awesome. oh, you got to go. It, it's, it was like, it was Damn. really And that's Kenny the Jet Smith. It's not Ooh. dad just talking about it. Yeah. That that's is a man dope. that just sat in here and said that Kobe is like, you know, not going to happen in the yeah. Lakers this year. No, you know I had saying? to. No, I seriously, I called him. Maybe I need to put my son on the Lakers. Didn't know. <laughs> That's when they were the chip. Right. They no, you say wow. like, you say big we boy have, junior. No, we, we did jump on the phone and you were like, man, like your son is. Take jumping. it serious. Yeah. Like really take it serious. And, yeah. But I was telling him, don't put him up. Like, don't let him play against eight and nine year olds yet. Mm-hmm. Let him learn how to really dominate a game at this age, and because he can and at that age. And then, as he gets about eleven, that's mm-hmm. when you start playing him against a twelve, thirteen. Okay, 14 cool. Year old. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. eleven years old. Till about eleven. My thing right? is, man, when it all come together, if he thank you before he thank me, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to thank Kenny the Jets. I'm gonna be like, that's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Friday no, my dude. wife's in here. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not the dad. Okay, cool in the game. The All right, all right. All right. <laughs> well, there it is right there. Got that out the way. All right, let me see here. Did I get that one? Let me see. <laughs> Kenny the Jet <laughs> is not Jaden's father. No, no. All right, that was done. That was done. I get a lot of heat for being a Clipper fan in, of course, L.A., growing up in L.A., of course. What do you think is the problem with the Clippers when it comes time to the playoffs? Well, you get the heat because that means you're really a Johnny-come-lately. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> because that's why you Search get the Search the timeline. Right, right. Search the timeline. You time could line. not have been a Clipper fan when <laughs> you Donald Sterling I don't was get the it. owner. No, right. but I want to get it. I don't want to get too much in the story. I know Clipper but- Daryl. Remember, he yeah. used to just Clip go sit in different real. seats. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, he used to Jump sit around. in like 14,000 <laughs> seats just <laughs> yeah. during the game. He'd just walk around and nobody was there. No, one. no see, when I was younger, the Clippers, Darryl. for some reason, let my dad hand out the game ball, and they, like, invited us to a game. Nobody and was there. I know. <laughs> but they I probably just... came to your house, and it was like, not yeah. not. you want to go to the game? No, but they were so nice to us. They were so nice. And I was like, this is really cool. I like the Clippers because they did something nice to my dad. So that's why I was always a Clipper fan. Listen, when I used to be... I used to have Clipper tickets, right? Uh-huh. And so I was like, oh, I was trying to, you know, figure out where to give them. So I, you know what? I leave them on my car. And then I'll just, you know, somebody will pick them up and go to the game. <laughs> Are you what? serious? Is this a true story? I'm dead serious. I'm dead. I came back and it was four uh-huh. tickets. I was like, yo. <laughs> the question <laughs> wasn't why I'm a Clipper fan. <laughs> you just put them right here. <laughs> hey, man, I remember years ago. And this is like when Virgin Airlines, when they first had like satellite TV on the, on the flights. <laughs> right. I remember, dude, people were wa- watching the Clipper game and four people walked out on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, it was a man, mess. The Clippers, man. I'll yeah. tell you, I, 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 you know, Chris Paul and, mm-hmm. and Blake Griffin and, and DeAndre Jordan has re, revamped the Clippers' mm-hmm. mentality. Yeah. Like, they are not the laughing right. stock. However, 
Again, the one thing you have to worry about is all the newness. You know, you, you put five people, new people together, mm-hmm. it takes a little time to win a championship. You could play well, but to win a championship, that might take a year. I mm. think another year is when they're, yeah. to me, where they're, they're that team. I think this year they're closer than last year, but okay. next year. Kenny the Jet Smith, yeah. do you ever have somebody that come up to you and say, man, why did you say that? Does, does anyone come up to you with feelings well, or their feelings are hurt? The players don't. It's always the fans because oh, they yeah, get yeah, more yeah. sensitive yeah. about their players and their favorite players than the fa- Like even my son, my, my youngest son, he's seven, mm-hmm. Malloy. So I can't talk badly about LeBron James. He cries and he's like oh. mad at me if I say something bad about him. Wow. LeBron is his favorite player. And I'm like, no, I didn't say he was bad player. I just said he made a bad play. Right. And he's like, oh, you can't talk about him. You're not allowed You're to not talk allowed. about LeBron. Like, but it goes from my seven-year-old son to 70-year-old people, the same thing. The players, because we never say, like, you don't have heart or you don't have, you know, we never pre- question their character. So they never get, but I can say, yo, you don't get back on defense. Whoop, here's the film. Here it is. You didn't get right. back. Oh, you didn't pass the ball. This guy's wide open. So they don't really on that come out. Inside at us. the NBA, they need to move that screen closer to y'all desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because this time you get run. him, you gotta run it's all the way. Run. I'm like, man, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he get him like, yeah. So anyway, we're yeah, here. yeah, we're yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long he's just, run. He's just running. Hey, that's how I get my work out. And, and by the time he get there, he yeah. like, what was I talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. I forgot. <laughs> but hey, you asked me something. But see, even like when we joke around about guys, like LeBron with his hairline, we kind of started that. Right. Ooh. And he he came on. He was like, look, I'm going to hold on to it as long as I can, man. It's, I got a little bit. I said, listen, man, I'm like, I'm the type of person that get rid of things before they get rid of me. Like right. hair. Yeah. Friends, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just gonna get. I start first, but he's like, "No, nah, Kenny, I'm keep." He said it right on air. I'm keeping my head till it till it drops. I heard, but that, I'm like, man. okay, but he held true to that. He's, held, he's holding yeah. true to it. Best you know? believe it. He'll have one little strip back here, yeah, <laughs> see? just to prove y'all yeah, wrong, just to prove us wrong. But you know? no one, they don't get mad because they understand that the jokes are right. Jokes and the, and, and then the it's coming real. like when you when you sit down with Shaq. Shaq is already a whole lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Then Charles Barkley, there's absolutely no <laughs> mental editor it's to hilarious. him. No. no. What was he doing? Was, was, it, was it Texas where he was talking about, oh, they're all fat out there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, San Antonio. He's, yeah. San Antonio. He's like, you know, uh, Weight Watchers would make a billion dollars if they just started in Texas. Good in San Antonio. <laughs> But, you know, in, in the churros, and he goes to the whole thing, and he starts doing the – the, uh, the San Antonio dances and da 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 and he's like just goes oh, he's just bananas. Do you guys ever curl your feet in your shoes like curl your toes, <laughs> wondering what somebody's gonna say next? No, that's the beauty of it, man. Like there's never we don't have any script. Like no one knows exactly yeah. what each other gonna say. We nah. walk onto the show. We wow, only only Ernie like just knows what the time we need to go to a commercial. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But everything, Damn, I have no dope. idea what Ernie's Charles like our is Jason, say. where he just bring. All right, go, all right, let's yeah, bring yeah. it back in. Let's bring it back <laughs> in. Re- right. Reel it back. Reel yeah, it back. Reel it back in. Okay. Any thoughts on on Lamar Odom, man? Now, yeah, yeah, th- man. Th- That's got to be a comrade. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah, I, I've known Lamar since he was nine, eight years old, nine wow, years old. Yeah. He played for my AAU teams with my brother Vince. Too, wow. From eight years old to about thirteen, and uh, he, my brother, was kind of his mentor from that age, and then he went on and started playing, you know, different things. But he always, even in, when he was a Laker, would work out with him. Uh, you know, we went to the wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, um, you know, one of the few people that went to the wedding, my brother and I, and my wife. Uh, it was just, you know, it's it's tragic only because you know I I know where he's come from, right? And and I know how he got there. You know, we you know we both grew up in Queens, New York. You both my brothers, both of our mentors. We both won two championships. Mm. It's just decisions. You know, the decisions you make make who you are, not the path that mm-hmm. you take. Right. You know? And so he he just, you know, has made some, you know, bad decisions, which we all do. Right. But a lot of times we have opportunities to correct them. He hasn't had an opportunity to correct his decisions. I, I feel for him. my brother actually drove up to uh Las Vegas, uh, went to the hospital. Um, had you ever had a conversation with Lamar all the time as far as yeah. like when when you saw certain things? Well, you hear things. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see them. And so to you know that when you hear them, you know, and you and the sources aren't always accurate. Mm-hmm. So you you go, well, you know, but we have like if you put Lamar's 10 f- best friends, you know, growing up in Queens, I probably know 9 of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Personally, like they call me, talk to me, whatever. So it, it's a different environment. Um, you know, 
Um, you know, Ron Artest is one of those guys who he grew up on because they all played with my brother as well. Ron knows him as well. And, you know, the one thing you could do is like when when you get as grown men, it's hard to come to another grown man and say, hey, is your life in order? You got right. kids. You got your own things going on and you're trying to keep your own life in order. Yeah, so it's man. difficult to hear it. And you hear it from like sources that aren't always accurate. And so you, you're not really sure. But then when the accuracy comes, you know, he knows where to go to. You know, I always found out that people, when they know they're doing things that are wrong, right. they don't hang around the people that right. will tell them about it. Exactly. You know what I mean? So my brother hasn't gotten a call in a long time, you know, so maybe because of that reason, mm. you know, and, you know, he's not because he's going to have to answer. You know, you're going to have to answer when you talk to myself, you talk to my brother, you talk to people. Did you find out, Kenny, the same way we did, just like social media, the news, just everything? The hospital, yes. I did hear about the hospital the same way. But, you know, we had, you know, heard other things prior to that. Because, like I said, I know nine of his close friends. Uh, I knew one of his uh, his friends had just passed away that last summer. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we we knew of him as well. He went to high school with Lamar. You know, pretty similar situation. So, you know, we knew that the crowd was, you know, starting to change in a different direction. Uh, But, you know, we always thought he'd come back. Because we all falter. But you're thinking, he's going to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be all right. You know, so we just pray for him. And uh, he knows he knows our numbers. And if he, when he's listening and he knows, he knows how to catch all of us. It's not We're like a half degree of separation. I heard Lamar. that. He knows how to catch us. Stephen A. Smith. Now, there was a scene. How do Stephen A. Smith and Kevin Durant, how do they get into <laughs> a situation? Now, now Stephen A. Smith, he came out of his mouth and he was saying that possibly that Kevin Durant was going to go to the L.A., Lakers. the Lakers. Mm-hmm. And paraphrasing Kevin Durant was like, I don't know where he heard that from. I'm not going to the Lakers. I don't know this man, nobody in my family, so on and so forth. Right. And then uh, Stephen A. Smith looks right into the camera. Right. And he, l- 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 let me read this. He, he says, you don't want to make an enemy out of me, and I'm looking right into the camera. What the hell is going yeah. on here, man? Well, first of all, Kevin Durant is going to be a free agent. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't want – people to believe in Oklahoma City when he's still trying to win a championship. They have a chance to win it all this year. Yeah. That I'm thinking about going somewhere else. So he doesn't want that on anybody's plate. And so he's probably never said it to Stephen A. And he never said it to anyone. So now when you say it out loud that I might be thinking about something, he's like, well, how do you know that? I've mm-hmm. never said that to you. Stephen A. Smith saying, well, I'm a great journalist. And now you're questioning my integrity to find out information from someone else. However, I think Stephen A's my guy. He should have said, I have sources and mm. I stick by my sources. Period. Right. We could have lived with that. But to challenge him, who actually probably never said, I'm going to the Lakers or want to go to the Lakers, probably never said that to him or any in his circle, he was accurate as well. So I, I felt that Kevin Durant was accurate in his statement because he's the best player in the league at one time and, and trying to be that again. And to have that rumor that I'm ready to leave while right. I'm trying to win a championship, you know, it's like, you know, it's like cheating on your girlfriend, man. That's not cool. Like you can't do that. So it doesn't make any sense. Mm, mm, mm. Do we put them in a octagon and let them fight this out? <laughs> you think it, it'll just work itself out. No, no. One thing is Stephen A. Smith's gonna have the last word because that's what he does. Oh. You know, he's 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 got his own show, so he's always gonna have the last word. But the thing is, Kevin Durant was right. Right. You know, he cannot let people think that he's trying to be somewhere else. And he, they're 3-0 and right now. They haven't lost a game. Yeah. Russell Westbrook is healthy. He's healthy. They can win it right. all. And you can't have anybody thinking on his team, especially, that I got one foot in L.A. and one right, foot right. in Oklahoma. No, that, that I would never let like that Like I'm out. thinking pa- beyond this. Yeah, yeah no, beyond, no, you can't do that. Big boy, Big boy, Kenny the Jet Smith up in here, man. Definitely want to thank you for coming in and hanging out with us, my brother. Oh, man, and next time, man, don't hold your tongue. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, Just I'll say I'll what's on your mind. Speak what's on my mind, man. Lakers, Lakers fans, I love y'all. Wait for Big Boy, son. Oh, oh my God. God. Damn. Damn. How do you talk yeah, all him, this smack and I put my son. My LA. son will be ready too. He'll be ready man. by then too. That's only ten years from now. Ten, You're eleven a cold years. Piece. I cannot wow. wait until we do something and I can look you in the face. Okay. They say I told you so. When you have when you have that wheelchair and you say that to me, oh, here, that cr- I told you so, Kenny. Damn. I told you we was Man. gonna win. It. <laughs> <laughs>
I told you. Exactly. All righty, man. Well, Kenny the Jet Smith, man. Thank you for coming in. Thank yeah, you man, for hanging man. out with us, man. Best believe that it is going down, man. Big boy in the morning, y'all. <laughs>